I'm Ms. Artastic, again. in this video, our tutorial, we're going to be drawing this super cute squirrel. So cute! So cute! Uh, anyways, we're going to be grabbing anything you want to draw with, any mark maker and any mark making medium to color with. It's up to you what you want to color with. And you can join me in drawing this super cute squirrel. And if you're looking for more fabulous art ideas and art tutorials, make sure you head on over to www.artastickids.com. It's your hub for all full art projects using lots of different art making mediums to help you go from beginner level all the way up to advanced uh, in a short period of time. Perfect for streaming on demand at home or at artastickids.com. Lots of different blog ideas and videos there, so check it out. All right, so grab those mark making mediums and let's make some art. <laughs> This episode is brought to you by ArtasticKids.com. If you're a parent, guardian, homeschool family, or a classroom teacher looking for art lessons and resources, begin your journey by finding free art lessons, tips, advice, and more at ArtasticKids.com. All right, so we're going to begin our lovely little squirrel with its head towards the left side of the page. So we're going to draw... Nice little curving line with some zigzag lines on top. We'll add our little squirrel nose just with a bubble letter T. We can add two cheeks with some oval shapes. And then we're gonna bring a line down that curves around, dips in for a cheek, and then up. We can add an ear on either side. And then we're gonna do squirrels back. So we're gonna use some zigzag lines to come around and down. We'll add some zigzag lines in the shape of a letter C for squirrel's back leg. We're gonna add the big bushy tail. So I'm gonna come part way up, part way up the back. We're gonna draw a curving line up. And then we'll zigzag it, nice bushy tail. And then I'm gonna bring it out from the bottom. And I'm wrap it around and connect. The zigzag lines are really great for making that lovely fur texture and you can angle them to kind of make it seem like the hair's lying flatter on the body. I'm gonna have my squirrel holding an acorn. So I'm gonna have a little arm coming out. I'm gonna draw a few little fingers here. And I'll draw a nice little furry arm. And add a little back foot. And I'm gonna use the letter C to draw some toes and then connect. I'm gonna add my nut. <clears throat> Maybe I'll do like a walnut. Got my acorn, or my, <laughs> that my squirrel is holding. My little walnut or something, whatever you wanna have it hold. You can add whatever you would like. Some sort of tree nut. And then you can have hints of other arms and feet peeking out on the other side. Can add some blades of grass just with some bigger expressive zigzag lines on the ground. And then we can add some eyes. I'm going to draw one circle on one side and one just peeking out on the other side. I'm going to draw one smaller circle in each eye. I'm going to color the dark of the eyes, leaving just those little circles nice and white. You can add some 
fuzz on the head. With some zigzag lines and some dashed lines. And you can add some other details around the body. And just like that, you are ready to color in your drawing. So grab your favorite colors and give your drawing some lovely color.
And once you're done, your lovely squirrel drawing is done. Well, that's it for this episode. Please make sure that you subscribe to the channel, Ms. Artastic. And if you create anything and share it online on social media, please, please, I would love to see it. So take me at Ms. Artastic and I will check it out or join the community and conversation and use the hashtag, hashtag Ms. Artastic. And I will check it out that way as well. And you can see what other people are creating who create with Ms. Artastic. YouTube videos. Well, that's it for this episode, and I will see you in the next.
Well, that's it for this episode. Please make sure that you subscribe to the channel, Ms. Artastic. And if you create anything and share it online on social media, please, please, I would love to see it. So tag me at Ms. Artastic and I will check it out or join the community and conversation and use the hashtag, hashtag Ms. Artastic. And I will check it out that way as well. And you can see what other people are creating who create with Ms. Artastic YouTube videos. Well, that's it for this episode and I will see you in the next.